Hey guys, uh, today we have a latitude, the latitude T5410. And it's a walking plane that brought it for the repair of the power jack. So right here. They have to wiggle the plug to make the system work. So I will take it apart and show you how to replace it. So remove the battery. So the jack is on this side, right here, so we do need to take everything off. It's no big deal. Yeah, let me get you a better angle. Like that. Repair. There is nobody by that name. Nobody by that name here. So, later, that was it. Kathy? Okay, you can remove the hard drive by pulling it upwards. And here we have uh, the wireless cables. We have to make sure to unscrew every single screw there is. Okay. Take the keyboard cover to take the take the keyboard off. Right. Okay. 
don't pull on it, but just like slide it out slightly. Because that's the connections you got uh, for the keyboard. Right, so now what we want to do, we want to disconnect uh, some cables. Here we disconnect the uh, cable for the okay, like that, like that, like that for the uh, LEDs. Then we have to disconnect the cables for the uh, for the screen in order to do so I need to take all the tape off like that like that like that and pull up right here and gently remove the cable because this is really a sensitive cable if you bend it someplace, uh, it's pretty much you have to replace it. So, um, disconnect this cable and disconnect this touchpad cable. Get all the cables to this side. This and this cable. Hinges for the screen. Then take the screen off. Okay, uh, there is a cable that's kind of stuck right here. Right, so once it seems like everything is disconnected, uh, you can take the casings apart. Usually I want to find something like sweet spot in a place here. First of all, you want to have some glasses on because plastic sometimes cracks and flies into your eyes. By the way, you want to remove this wireless card right here. Alright, so. Power check repair. Yep. Sure, there is a bl black jeep right across from the entrance. There is there is a black jeep right across from the entrance. Yeah, yeah. Thanks. Thank All right. So 
here. Like that. Like that, like that. And what we got there. Now, I don't really like aluminum made uh, laptops because they are heavy and more expensive and easy to dent. And um, yeah, I mean, it kind of the heavier the laptop is, the less it's uh, the less you can carry it around. Okay, so there is one more screw right here which is hidden under the uh, black cover. So again, you don't want to force anything. Okay, we take the cover off. So now we get to the motherboard and the motherboard... So we unscrew the screw. Alright, and that one. There is nothing left inside, and here is the jack. And I don't see any faults in the jack itself at all. And it's a middle mounted jack, so you're probably not going to be able to find parts for it. So we have to do something different here. Let's see first where the problem is at. So when we wiggle it, nothing is conducted, right? So yeah. So the minus is fine. The center the center seems alright. Now the plus the plus doesn't get to anywhere. Not here, not here. So yeah, the jack is bad inside. Alrighty. Alright, so middle mounted jacks are a rare thing because we only had about a couple hundred of those and we were the only people that had them. Now let's see if you still have them. Whatever is for sale anywhere else, you're not gonna find this rectangular jack anywhere. So middle mount the jack. Oh, we still got a few. You see, middle mount uh, doesn't not anywhere. Rare jack to find. Most of them have uh, much lower lag lines. Uh, this one is all middle. Okay, so we need to desolder this jack. I'll show you how to desolder it.
it's gonna be really loud because the the exhaust gonna be working but the best thing is to cut all the plastic off and I'll cut it later and then uh, remove each piece one by one one by one one by one but try not to cut the metal all the way to the leg side because you would not be able to remove the piece that's stuck inside of the board if you want you could send the whole board to us it's going to be 60 bucks only uh, if you send just the board uh, 100 bucks if you send the whole laptop So yeah, um, I would advise you to turn off the speakers because it's going to be really loud.
So the problem is uh, those pins right here in the back, they just broke loose right there. So I will show you on the other side. Now, to indicate it's at the bottom.
All right, my friends. Basically, that's how you replace the jack on this laptop. So, um, I want to double check that everything is conducting. The electricity. So, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. And that's fine too. Yeah, and if you like the video, leave a like below. And uh, if you want to send us the motherboard, send us the motherboard. It's 60 bucks if you send it just the motherboard. 100 bucks if you send the whole laptop. And I will show you how to put it all back together. Okay. So. First of all, I took some insulation off right here, so I need to put some insulation back on. Oh, check it here. River Mill is not the right street. What you need to go, what, what you need to do, you need to go back to River Mill, uh, take a right uh, onto River Mill, and then go all the way to River Walk. River Walk, take a right. It's in a dead end of Mill Circle. Turn right onto River Mill, then you need to go left on River Mill. No problem. Thanks. Okay. All right. 
So some people don't have GPS nowadays. So and for them it seems like River Mill and Mill Circle are two similar streets, which they are not. So I have to provide directions on how to get here. Anyways, so here we put this in. I want to insulate the top as well, just in case. Because of this metal stuff right there. Okay. I might have to stop the video shortly because uh, a client walking through the door soon. Straight. This has to be straight up like that. Okay. Now connect this cable. Connect the touchpad cable. in right here okay. All right. 
the good thing about this system is that the screen goes out all the way that way. So that's a good thing. So the hinges don't get broken as often as the as it breaks on the other systems. Number 710 up, to, up here. Uh -huh. There was a big note from the sheriff on the front door, and I said, Oh man. Yeah. <laughs> so okay. How are you today? Huh? I'm alright. Busy? Yeah, a bit, uh... well, I guess it's better than the alternative. Right. Well, I see you got some drones. Okay, this one looks bad anyway, so I, I don't even want to leave that. But this is the one I thought it wasn't it wasn't charging because I didn't see the light going on. It was in my kids' room, so I think this one is still good. Okay. Yeah. No. Yeah. The thing is, there are two metal screens in the side here and there. Yeah. And the more they get the screen like here, the system can't break. Yeah. The less contact we get. Okay. Which one do you, do you think you can fix? I would just chop off whatever. Yeah, you just chop it off and put a new one on. Okay. Because that one's good. Because this was a replacement. I don't even know if this thing needs to be the right size. Right. It's not the right wattage. That's what I thought. Yeah. I figured if I went lower, I could be, I'd be all right. Right. Well, I think this guy goes out. Yeah. Okay. Let's just, let's just go. Let's go with the regular. All right. All right, if I come back in an hour, hour and a half, what do you say? An hour? Yeah, okay. yeah. Okay. All right, man, thank you. Do you need my name or anything? Uh, well, you know you want to. I'm the little guy that talks a lot. All right, good enough. All right, thank you.
Okay, guys, I need to um, leave this uh, video right here because a uh, bunch of clients are walking through. So that's basically how you put it all back together. The rest is the way we took it apart, right? Thanks so much. Have a good day.